what is up guys it is Bucky and welcome to your 23rd objective seat tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning a little more about classes and taking a break from the if else statement because I mean come on it was getting kind of boring so why are we going to learn more about classes and what else is there to learn well before whenever we made a class and a program with interface and implementation section we put it all in one big file but I showed you how to do this because that's the easiest simplest way but when you're programming in the programming world no one ever does this they always break up the interface the implementation and the main program into three separate files why because it's easier when you work with large programs and if you're building any program at all that's useful this is what you need to do so let's go ahead and go back to the very bare bones and what we're going to be doing is taking that program that we built before um, if you remember from like tutorial 5 or 6 and we're going to be splitting it up into different files and I'm going to show you how so let's go ahead and create a new Xcode project right here and what we want to do is of course uh, we want to go to new project application right over here make sure you have that selected and then once you do go ahead and click command line tool right here and then make sure this is on foundation and now go ahead and click choose right here and I'm gonna name my project like um, Bucky test 2 because I already have a Bucky test so go ahead and save this and now you see if you click on Bucky test 2 dot M we already have the simple program inserted for us so this is going to be the file Bucky um, let me scroll down here Bucky test 2.m that we're going to have our main method and run our main program but like I said this is only one of the files we're going to be using we also need those two other files I was talking about so what we're going to do is go up and I know you guys can't see this and I don't really feel like messing with my screen recorder but at the top um, menu bar that's out of view at the ver where it says Apple Xcode file edit view go ahead and file and click new file and then once you click new file this thing pops up so what you want to do here is under Mac OS 10 go ahead and click Coco class objective C class subclass of NS object and then go ahead and click next right there because we're going to want to create um, a new class which is pretty much a new file now for our file name before in case you forgot from it was many tour tutorials ago I named it person because we created person object and it says when you create person M also create person H and by the way person H is the interface and person M is the implementation so with Bucky test 2 um, that's the main one person H this is going to be the interface and person M this is going to be Im implementation so if you go ahead and click finish right here you see and by the way go ahead and click source so you can see all your files if you select only one of these then you only see one of them go ahead and click source and then it shows you all your files so now in your same directory you have person.h person.m and bucky test 2.m again person.h this is where we're gonna put the interface person.m this is where we're gonna implement it and bucky test 2.m this has your main method which you need to run your program so go ahead and click source and under your source um, I guess we can go ahead and do person.h first and now you can see that you have all of this code with these comments and this gives you a nice little place to put your interface first program we have off the bat we need to change this coco since this isn't a coco application um, we need to change this to foundation and foundation dot h and it automatically filled in the other dot h for me not cool man not cool so what we have now is under person dot h you can see right here we can begin making the interface now i'm not going to go over everything that's uh... in the interface because i did in tutorial five or six or something 
but we have an int age in there and these are the properties of a person and we have an int weight so after we have our variables we write what methods we want well let's go ahead and put void and we have a method called print and then void and then we have a method called set age and this takes a um, argument of int a and what we're going to be doing is later on is passing in a value called a and setting it equal to age and let's just go ahead oh I won't copy that I'm not that lazy void set weight there we go and this has an argument that's an int of course and it takes w and what this does is set the weight so for our interface what we need to do is first of all I'll delete this because it's taking me off way too much comments what we do is import foundation foundation.h and for our variables make sure you have an age and weight and for your three methods that we're going to be implementing later make sure you have a print set age and set weight with arguments of a and w as integers so that's all i have for you guys for now so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next tutorial